Around 40,000 years ago, we began externalizing entire stories and grand narratives onto the vast echoing canvases of cave ceilings. These images were not isolated markings. They often formed intricate compositions that depicted hunts, rituals, and the very fabric of daily life, creating a shared cultural memory that reached beyond individual experience. Fast forward to approximately 5,000 years ago, and we witnessed another monumental leap, the invention of writing. This transformative act went beyond making marks. It was about capturing ideas, thoughts, and detailed instructions in a lasting format, allowing them to endure beyond the fleeting lives of their creators. Wisdom could now travel across generations and continents. Fast forward even more, and you see this same principle at play, evolving with every technological advance, gears, steam, silicon. Each invention in its own way is basically a bigger, faster, more efficient hard drive for that same symbolic code. The Renaissance? It was far more than just a period of artistic flourishing. It was a massive graphics card upgrade for humanity, a celebration of individual genius and the fusion of art, science, and innovation. The invention of industrial presses? That was Cloud Storage V1.0, democratizing information and making ideas accessible to the masses like never before. With each iteration and new tool, the circle of who could create and how far those creations could travel widened. But the underlying engine, the fundamental creative impulse, never changed. Take old ideas, combine them in new ways, and then ship them out into the world. It's a continuous, accelerating process of externalizing our inner thoughts and making them shareable, scalable, and enduring. Modern geneticists are now peering into our DNA and discovering something truly fascinating. Creativity isn't some mystical, ephemeral quality. It's deeply wired into us. They've identified coordinated networks, thousands of genes working in concert, that predispose us for curiosity, for emotional control, and for imaginative play. 